we're going to do a quick one-shot tutorial on how to create something in Illustrator for die cutting. So first off, we have our program, Illustrator. I have a 12 by 12 um, inch file set up, which is the same um, size as I can cut on my Cricut. First things first, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our tools. Um, I'm going to use shortcuts because that's all I know. I'm going to hit M and that's going to give me a box tool. I'm going to switch my colors so that I am making a black shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use outline for this and I'm going to press and I'm going to put in um, the same size as my tiles, which is 1.95 inches. So my tiles are just under two inches so that I can get six by six on every single floor panel that I make. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the box. I'm going to go over here to stroke and I'm going to put that at 10 pixels. I'm going to take a look at that. And I think I'm actually going to make that to seven. I'm basically recreating my floor tile that I have. And then really important here is to align stroke to inside. That way your shape is going to be the correct size and you will have what you need in the end. So, We've got this, this is a really nice start. I'm gonna select it again, I'm gonna to go to object, I'm gonna to go to path, I'm gonna hit outline stroke. And what that's gonna do is gonna make it into a shape with points instead of um, being a, uh, a stroke that just has a, basically just a line. So I'm gonna go back to M, have it like this. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna create the um, the corner pieces and what we're going to do here is basically take that right there and do that. I'm going to make that a little deeper just to kind of match what we need to do. Um, remembering of course what our floor panels look like. I'm going to bring that into there. Um, one thing I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to select this. I'm going to draw a guide and what that's going to do is show me the center of our object means I can actually bring this in a little closer. Cool, and then I'm gonna hit A, which is the white arrow. And it's gonna allow me to select this point right here. I'm gonna use my arrow key to click once, twice, three times. And that's gonna skew the box so that we have a shape that matches our forge wheel tiles a little more. I'm gonna hit it another two times, and then I'm gonna click that corner and click this corner with both of the white arrow and nudge those over a couple. What that gives me is the basic shape that I want. I'm gonna adjust it a little further. Great. Now, I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna to go to Object. I'm gonna hit Transform. I'm gonna hit Reflect. I'm gonna hit Preview just so that I can see what I'm doing and it is actually gonna flip it for me. We're gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna hit shift and drag it over here. I didn't copy it, good. Um, so I'm going to hit undo, undo. I'm gonna hit copy. I'm gonna hit uh, paste in place, which is super important. Then we're gonna go back. We're gonna hit reflect. Uh, we're just gonna do that. And then we're gonna hit shift and drag this over. Um, and as you can see, now we have two. And one thing that we're gonna have to do is make sure that they are centered. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab both. We're gonna group them really quick. We're gonna select the back object. And then up here is your, some quick alignment tools and we're gonna hor hor uh, horizontally align our centers. That way everything is centered. Now a trick I learned from Aaron Draplin is with my circle tool, I'm gonna draw a circle, quickly switch these so it is on the outside. I'm gonna drag this, I'm gonna group these really quick, and I'm gonna select the circle as well, and we're gonna hit align centers and align centers, so now everything is aligned. We're gonna ungroup this shape, we're gonna take our two of um, side pieces, we're gonna grab our circle, we're gonna copy it and paste in place. We are going to rotate this 90 degrees, Copy it, paste in place. We're gonna rotate 90 degrees. Copy it, paste in place. And rotate it 90 degrees. Now we're gonna grab all our circles, delete those because we don't need them. We're gonna hide our guides. And there you have it. 
give her a really quick floor tile. We're almost done. Next, we're gonna select everything, and then over in Pathfinder, we're gonna click this one. This one is basically gonna merge all of our components. You do that, great. So now we have our shape. This is all you need to basically put into the Cricut Design software and cut it, almost. Do a save as, and what you're gonna to wanna to do is right here, make it an SVG, and this is gonna be floor EX. Uh, hit save, and these settings are really important. What I do is I do SVG 1.0. Um, you got a bunch of options, I do that one. Type, I convert it to outlines. I want this to be basically just outlines so that when it cuts, that's all it's doing. And ensure that responsive is not turned on. Click OK, and that's it. You have a file that's ready to go into uh, designs, the design software and cut it. And I'll follow up with another video um, on how to do that.